It is that time of the year, SEMA in Las Vegas. My absolutely favorite show of the year. We have so much planned for this week, so much that's gonna happen and go down. And we're gonna start by doing ride-alongs and really fast forward cars, meet up with some YouTubers. So let's get into it. I should have got a Bronco. <laughs> this thing is nice. I've only seen the stock ones, but when you build them out, throw some wheels and tires on them. Throw some lights on top. This thing's beautiful. The color is amazing. I must send a text be like, I, I might need to trade him in my car. <laughs> I'm getting a call from a number. It says Fun Haver. Guessing it's Von Ginn since I'm driving his car. Hey. Oh, he's hanging out by all the cars, as you can tell. He's telling me how to drive his car. Von told me be super careful. That is an expensive car. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, come here, come here. See? See that green Mustang right there? Yeah. I've blown both of your tires off of it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it was my first video, my release video with Ford and stuff. They know to have a set already ordered when I'm driving. It's the funniest thing ever. And oh, I'm not allowed to go over the transition so I'll rip the whole nose off. It's just low. Even though we just got here, it is now time for me to go get my suit on so I can drive Von Gittin's Mach-E 1400. I'm so excited. This thing is so fast. What I love about SEMA is it's literally everyone that I've been around my whole life, like people I haven't seen in four years since I've raced off-road trucks, are here. And I'm like, dude, I haven't seen you forever. I have no clue which one I'm driving. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully one I haven't already blown the tires off of. <laughs> my goal during my relationship with Ford is every car that I drive, I have to at least blow one tire off during a burnout. I'm just about to hop in the car. Weston's heading over here, so I'm probably gonna do one run and then throw Weston in. Ready? All right, here we go. I'm gonna figure out how to turn the track and the pull off. I'll have one of my buddies with me. Okay, good. Yeah, so Are I'm gonna okay do one run, kind of figure it out, and I'll throw it in. Okay, good. So we're gonna go get a different car. Don't yeah. hold my own camera. Oh, yeah. I do know my way around around oh. cutting up some Ford wiring. Oh I can, yeah. I, I, oh, I oh I know you do. <laughs> I, mean, I can do it if you want me to. Do it. Oh, look at them Brembos. I'm stealing them. <laughs> you see them over here. I'm just sorry, my parts off, off the car. Uh, hey, I'm so, these here are just they're out of wear spec. They're oh. not gonna work for Haley. They're this like, is um, unsafe. Haley, I that. think your friend took a couple parts off of my cars. <laughs> uh, I don't know. We came back here. The engine's gone. The fan's <laughs> gone. The brakes are gone. Oh. And I have no idea. There was just a note that said Bill Haley. Bill Haley. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, this thing fits good. We're in party. Let's do this. I will warn you if I give her bad instructions and she hits the wall, that's totally my fault. Just uh, have Ford, well, I don't know, have Ford do something. But you know, this quarter panel here needs to be destroyed. That one over there needs to be destroyed. Haley's gonna get a fat bill in the mail here soon. <laughs> we got Weston out here. We've been trying to collab forever. I guess. Yeah, this is the perfect opportunity. Brand perfect. new GT500. Let's go out there. Let's wall tap it. Let's go. We're gonna do our best to not get a huge bill in the mail. Oh, come on. <laughs> Ford it loves to party. I know they do. <laughs> All right, ready?
whole entire lap. Oh, well, you know, the thing about it, they got to hold it on the trailer. We figured out the right We figured road. it out. We didn't even have to pull no fuses or nothing. Oh, yeah. That was sick. Oh, yeah. Hi. I feel at home. <laughs> uh, Perfect. Dude, this bad boy ain't even overheating yet. It's good to go. All right, sweet. That was one. That was better. We just had to get the settings right. The advanced track needed service, and so it wasn't even working, so we just put in regular sport mode with um, traction control off, and it was perfect. Dude, y'all killed it. Oh, yeah. That was that good? Did that look good? All right. So we just finished driving with Weston. Once we got the traction control figured out, so much fun. Now I have to drive the Mach-E 1400. Not have to, I get. <laughs> and then um, Keith McGee, he races trucks with me. Coolest guy ever from Alaska. I think I'm gonna throw him in the passenger seat of this one. <laughs> Ready? Think so. Here we go. Did it look weird? It, it weird feels it feels weird because I'm not a drifter. I've drifted one, two cars in my entire life. Yeah. Most of it was with Cletus. Trying to gauge it, because you're mostly gauging it by sound. Yeah. When there's no sound, you're going off tire squeal. <laughs> and then when you really get it going, you can't hear anything. So I'm like, am I going fast enough for smoke? <laughs> We're gonna actually head inside the convention center and that's where like all the beautiful cars are at that people do builds with and then we also have a few meetings in there. Go try to get some new sponsors. We want to race a lot of races next year. Look at that truck. <laughs> 450. 450? 450. That sounds like it eats a lot of gas. <laughs> Still, my goal in life is to do an old Bronco build and be able to make it my daily driver. <laughs> Worst case, if that doesn't happen, I will take a GT40. <laughs> oh my gosh, look how beautiful that car is. I'm a little jealous of TJ, not gonna lie. That thing's clean. I would never put those two colors together, but it looks so good. Like, I would never think to put those two colors together. We're gonna have to find him later. Maybe he'll let me drive it. <laughs> Weston, don't tell me this has to be the only thing that is zip tied on the car in SEMA. Look at this one. <laughs> He's so true to character. So true to <laughs> I love how it's still dirty. Yeah. <laughs> they are making clean it. There's so rubber all over it. This thing probably hauls butt. We're now headed to my favorite booth, the Ford Performance booth. <laughs> I think my goal would be to one day have a car in here, whether it's like a Bronco, a Mustang, whatever. Like, just I want to do a build really want to do a Bronco build because it's like close to my heart. <laughs> but to have like something in this booth, you know you did something right. It's beautiful in here. That thing looks mean. You think they'd let me borrow that to go up to like Mammoth or something or Colorado? Raptors, you love to see it. Raptors, you can't go wrong with a Raptor. I feel like it's such like a piece that's just beautiful. Ooh. Look at the front on it. Is this what yours is gonna look like? Let me see, it's 22? that's 2021. Oh. My 2022, it's gonna look sick. 14. Every year at SEMA, this has happened to me ever since I was 13 years old, I lose my dad. <laughs> Always. He stops and he's on his phone and he looks down and he doesn't realize I'm gone and then he just sits there. And I'm like, where did you go? And then he'll start wandering. Next thing you know, he's at the concession stand. I'm like, I've been calling you. Oh, look at him. Standing right there on his phone. Wandering. Every time. I just had probably the coolest meeting I've had at SEMA so far today about doing an old car build. And I'm sure you guys might be able to guess which car we're talking about, but I cannot wait. It's gonna come out so sick. I hope this deal happens. Usually it's Chase leaving everything everywhere, but this time I left my poster bag. I have a signing in a couple minutes. Left my poster bag at the Ford. How are we gonna I really hope it's still here because I have an hour signing. I left my helmet bag here. Yes, you did. Yes, thank you. <laughs> You're a lifesaver. I have a signing right now I and all my do. posters I are in here. I opened it and I was like, this is Haley Deegan. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, thank you so much. You saved saying. my life. <laughs> well, I just walked up to Craftsman and I wasn't expecting this. I didn't even know people knew that I was signing. I haven't promoted it yet and we already have a line of people. We got fans. Thank you. <laughs>
for our SEMA today, doing everything here, all our signings at Craftsman, those just ended. It was so much fun talking to everyone. Signing poses again since we haven't had signings in a while. And so now we're not done with the night. We're gonna head to Top Golf to go play some golf with Method Wheels guys and have a lot of fun. Well, we just pulled up to Top Golf. It's a lot of business people, so I'm gonna look absolutely ridiculous trying to hit the golf ball. I'm gonna try to do the prop way first. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be embarrassed. I'm so bad. My approach was so bad. I feel like this jacket really restricts me to my performance. Not at all, it's cold, so I don't want to take it off. Don't watch me, I'm terrible. <laughs> I'm a big fan. I'm a huge fan. I can't. Watch out. Watch oh, out. Okay. No, don't fall over. <laughs> See? It's the only way I can hit it. I don't know how you're feeling. You got a lot of emotion and energy yeah. tonight. Yeah. Let it all go on that golf course. Yeah, I like grabbed that one and like threw it. <laughs> okay, we're getting better. See? At least I can hit it. Just say it. Oh! Haymaker. All right, now ball that up. Huh. Bob, tell me what I'm doing wrong. This is like be the back of Madison's head. <laughs> Just listen to me when it comes to racing. We could really have some forward progress here. That's my problem. <laughs> the problem was I listened to Chase and not Bob. Oh, <laughs> Chase is going to learn what it's like to get beat by an old guy on a, on a pit bike race, too. Oh. Yeah. What am I doing wrong? <laughs> oh. oh, so good. Oh, it's better. Golf push. No, right. Like, right. That's left, Dad. Bend your knees a little bit. What are you breaking into SEMA? No, I don't want to walk around. I'm already late. Oh my god, my pants are high. Where's your pass at? It's on my back. <laughs> you got it, Bob? Bob's hopping the fence too. Yeah, but your pants are Oh, Bob's still got it. Bob's, Bob's breaking got into it. it. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't even ready for the vlog today. Great start for day two. <laughs> Alright, ready to go. Well, it's our second day back at SEMA. We had so much fun at Top Golf with my dad, the Method guys. It's always fun at Top Golf. Came back this morning, did some demos. You guys saw a lot of that though from yesterday. So we're gonna go check out the rest of the show, go to a bunch of booths, find some more YouTubers, and we gotta look for Brad DeBerti because he's got a new car here that I want to see. We just made it to the Project X booth, which also owns Type S. Type S lights, the lights I have on my Mustang. And they were showing me the new product. They have these new headlights coming out that legit have cameras in them. How cool would that be? But I have to do a signing here, and there's a bunch of people waiting for me, so I'm gonna get into it. Go up to Weston and act like a big fan. Friend oh my God, Weston! Weston, can you please sign something for me? Oh my I'm God! Such a big fan. <laughs> Are you? I'm such a big fan. Oh, hold on. Well, here's the way your yours. bumper is zip tied or the horns are zip tied to the front. I love it. Just, Just inspired. So I know. I knew it. It's Did so you see how many zip ties there were? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So what, ain't no way that thing's coming off. Okay. I love how this is probably one of the only cars at SEMA that showed up dirty. <laughs> well, you know, I mean. Hey, you put it to good to use. Most of the cars here aren't even street legal. Yeah. Shows, because this product works on the street and yeah. it's legal. Yeah, I mean, you know. Ish. But you know, Kansas is an entire closed course. You don't need tags. Yeah, like, you don't need tags. No, no yeah. none, of that, none of that. Do you want me to put some zip ties on the front of your cars? Yeah, that'd be perfect. Okay, which one do you want zip ties on? We'll figure um, it out. We can do it the on GT250R? We can do it on my Mustang. Yeah. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. cool. We're going to have to race that. Okay. Oh, okay. there I'm we down, go. I'm down for that. <laughs> I'm going to lose, but dude, after that ride yesterday, I'm like, God, I got to get better at driving. <laughs> I keep running off these cliffs, running oh. my army trucks off into creeks and stuff. It's okay, it happens to you the You gotta best come of out us. to Kansas, drive I some know, army trucks. I know. Oh it's the off season now for racing after this weekend, so I can. Then there you go. Perfect. We can show you how we mess can... stuff up in Kansas. I gotta get the army truck out of the creek first. Okay, but... got it. It's still in the creek. You well, just left it there. And you know, the thing about it is, she took me drifting a GT500 yesterday, right? Yep. I gotta take her drifting a school bus. That's a school bus. 
So that, that would be. I can eligibly say I've never done that either. <laughs> well, see, then we're going to. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the problem is we don't have walls to hit in Kansas, but we do have trees. Well, we started our hunt for Brad, and then I got pulled into two meetings, and so I decided to change back into my regular clothes. I wasn't doing my signing anymore, but. Finally, we found Brad's truck. We've been looking for it for two days, so we're gonna try to find Brad now. Have you seen this thing before? No, uh, -uh I saw it when it was like all tore apart on a flatbed in Mooresville a lot. This is very Brad. Very Brad. Blacked out motor that doesn't even fit inside. <laughs> and very low to the ground. Here, let's dust him. Do you guys know where Brad's at? The birdie? Uh, the guy in the gray would definitely. Okay. Know. Yeah. Guy in the gray. There's three of them in gray. Hey. You guys know where Brad's at? No. No? no? He's just <laughs> gone. Bad. Typical Brad, always running from the scene. At least we got to see the truck. I think more of the mission was to find the truck and then expected Brad to be with it. But at least we found the truck. At least it's something we accomplished in two days. Oh my gosh, it's crazy to say our SEMA is already over. I just finished up my last event. I gotta go get my stuff, try to find an Uber, make it back to the hotel, then we head to Arizona. But honestly, it's so much fun here. Being able to meet Weston for the first time, drive on Gittin's car, we checked out the whole Hoonigan booth and just like get so many sponsor deals going for next year. It's been great. You can't beat that face-to-face -face interaction. So with that being said, I gotta head to Arizona to race my truck, but I will see you guys in the next video and I appreciate you guys watching this one. So be sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, join Club HG. Check out shophaleydingan.com.